some of you have commented the, that the light, uh, the LED light is flashing, indicating that there might be uh, a problem with the, the phasing or maybe um, the electricity is not rectified to DC. Uh, I'm not sure myself. I have a couple of uh, rectifiers there. They're not the uh, store bought one. I put them together myself. Um, what I did was to add a couple more capacitors uh, to one of the faces. And uh, at the top of each face, uh, there is a uh, capacitor to filter the AC. So even though I'm not spinning the uh, alternator, you can see uh, the electricity has stored in the capacitors. And uh, it has smoothed out the output, so I don't think you will see the flashing that much. I don't know... Uh, if this makes any difference uh, in terms of charging a battery. So this is what the alternator is turning at now, which is about 60 RPM. And uh, it gets uh, the output maybe like a hundred now. So um, it's getting brighter. If it goes really fast, maybe like 150, I'm not sure if that's flashing or that's the normal output of the LEDs. Uh, I would say it's probably giving out 5 to 7 watts now, which is, which is okay. I mean, if I can make... Uh, some wings for this alternator that can uh, power the LEDs. Uh, I would get uh, at least a decent output. I'm thinking of uh, increasing the size of the wings to maybe two feet so that it can turn the uh, alternator uh, effectively. You can see after I stop the alternator, uh, the power is still there. I'm sure when it gets to be very bright, it would probably be about 30 volts DC. And if uh, it is 25 milliamps for each LED. And that would make it 5 to 7 watts, I think. Once I have uh, some time to make the uh, bigger wings, I will make them and then they will sit on top of this. Uh, metal plate here with three wings spinning around just in time for the uh, winter winds that we're gonna get okay thanks for watching